using count in other ways. We learned how to use count to count the number of records in a table. There are other ways that we can use the count function though. We can use count along with where clauses to see how many records match our criteria. We can use count to find non-null values in a column. We can also use count to find unique or distinct values in a column. Let's see some examples of this. Let's use count with a where clause. First, we'll have a look at the table. We'll look for all records where the employee's first name is Barbara. You can see there are four records here. Now, let's change this to a select count. Remember to put the star inside the brackets. You can see the count function returns four. So this count function has included the criteria from the where clause. It didn't show the number 200, which is all records in the table. It showed four, because that's the number of records that match the first name of Barbara. We can also count a specific value in a column. This allows us to count values that are not null and distinct values. To count values that are not null, use count and then column. For example, we're going to select count and then inside the brackets we'll type in salary. Then continue with from employee. If we run this query, it will show 198. This is because, if you remember, there were two records that had a salary value of null. Selecting count on a column automatically excludes nulls, so there is no need for the where clause in this. To verify this, let's look for the employee records where the salary is null. You can see there are the two records here. If we change this to say where salary is not null and run the query, we should get our results here. If we go all the way to the bottom, we can see that there are 198 records. This matches with our select count salary. Now, let's try to count distinct records. Let's run this select query. Select distinct last name from employee. If we run this and go to the bottom of our list, we should see 140 records. Now, to count distinct, we put the word distinct inside the brackets when running the count function. Like this. This will count the number of unique or distinct last name values. It shows the number 140. You can see that that number is the same as the number that we just saw. If you put the distinct outside of the count function, you get a different result. You'll still get 200 because it counts the last name values and then does a distinct of that number, which there is only one of. So that's how you use the count function to count with a where clause, how you can find non-null records and unique records to count. Next, we'll look at counting data within groups and occurrences of data.